Nissan Qashqai is a small SUV or crossover that aims to offer the practicality and desirability of an SUV with the footprint, driving dynamics, and running costs of a hatchback, as, presumably, do all cars of this ilk. When the first Qashqai was launched way back in 2007 it had few competitors. Nowadays there are many, the Seat Atika, Mazda CX-5 and Volkswagen Tiguan to name but three. All, well, mostly, new versions of each have been launched since the second generation Qashqai arrived in 2013, so to make sure it stays competitive Nissan's given its breadwinner an upgrade. The most obvious change is the front end, which is completely new. Things get less dramatic as you move down the Qashqai's flanks, but the revised rear bumper and tail lights nonetheless contribute to the overall sense of newness. We think it's pretty smart. The interior benefits from revised materials and a new, thicker, flat-bottomed steering wheel. Slimmer front seats are supposed to improve rear legroom, while the Bose stereo is allegedly the most complete sound system ever offered in a European Nissan. But the big tech highlight is Pro PILOT, which we haven't tried and in any case isn't available until 2018. The system, which is the first bit of commercially available autonomous tech we'll see from Nissan, controls the steering, acceleration and braking in a single lane on highways during heavy traffic congestion and high-speed cruising. We'll let you know if it works once we've convinced Nissan to let us have a proper play. As for engines, you're looking at the same turbocharged four-cylinder petrol and diesels as before. There have been some refinement and drivability tweaks, but the headline figures remain the same. Greenest is the 1.5-liter diesel, which manages 99g-km even on chintzy 19s.